right, if you're a fan of the hit show This Is Us, you're probably familiar with this Afghani-American actress. She's one of our guests this morning, and she spent some time here in the Valley, and she has a really incredible story. So we'll chat with her in just a bit. Up next, from refugee to Hollywood star, we're going to meet the actress who has ties here to the Valley, and she is hitting it big right now, both on the big screen, in TV, and movies. We'll introduce her to you right after the break. You need to think about your child. Tell her to look at me, not you, when she speaks. Our next guest appearing on the hit show, This Is Us, in the new season. But you may have also heard her voice on the new Netflix movie, Six Underground. Or maybe saw her in Dirty John. Or you could have potentially seen her around the valley because she spent a lot of her childhood right here in Phoenix. We want to introduce you to uh, Bahara Golistani. She is joining us uh, this morning. You went to Barry Goldwater High School. And now you have really uh, transformed into this actress on the big and small screen. Uh, what is it like to... Uh, have all this success in the last few years. You said you moved out there, what, six years ago? Yeah, hi, yes. I'm from Phoenix, Arizona girl. Um, yeah, I've been in L.A. for about six years now, and um, I can't say that it was always easy. Um, pretty rough beginnings. I went to drama school for three years and then progressively started my career after that. So I didn't audition or do anything for the first three years, and then after that, my journey kind of began, and it's been one long one. <laughs> and your journey really started when you were four years old. Uh, you, you left Afghanistan where you were born. Uh, you lived in Russia and then you came to the States and you didn't know any English. No. Uh, yeah, I grew up in Russia. My family escaped Afghanistan in 1992 um, for many reasons. And we moved to Kiev in the beginning, Ukraine. And then we moved to Russia. So I lived in Moscow until I was 10. And when I was 10, my family was fortunate enough to be able to move to the States. And Arizona is where we moved. So it was a really big culture shock for me. Um, I've never seen a palm tree before. <laughs> <laughs> there are a lot of them here. Yes, <laughs> yes. And when you moved here, um, you didn't know any English and you were watching Friends. And that's actually how you, you learned English. Yeah, so American TV has been a huge part of my life huh. ever since I was a child. I used to watch Meryl's Place and all these different shows. And then when we moved here, um, I was really homesick. It was hard. I didn't speak any English. I didn't have any friends. Um, and I started watching Friends. And it was my favorite show on TV. And every day after school, that was my routine after I did my homework. And believe it or not, it really helped me with my English tremendously. And is that when you realized you wanted to be in front of the camera? So I've always wanted to be a performer ever since I was a child. Mm -hmm. I did some plays and stuff. And then when I started watching sitcoms, I was like, oh my God, this is fun. So I think it had some something to do with it maybe. <laughs> So we got to talk about This Is Us, obviously, hit show in its fourth season right now. So we're on a little bit of a winter hiatus, but you appeared on the fourth season uh, in the beginning of uh, or the beginning of uh, the fourth season, and you're coming back. But we, you can't give too many details, I'm assuming. But yes. uh, you do have more appearances in the future. So we are in hiatus at the moment, and what I can say is what we have coming is definitely going to shake you to your core a little bit. Ooh. What is it like working with those actors and actresses? I mean, Mandy Moore, Sterling K. Brown, they have a phenomenal cast. Uh, what is it like to be a part of it? Well, I've been a fan of the show since day one, and I have always had tremendous amount of respect for the writer as a director, and um, when I got the opportunity to audition and work on the show later on, um, it was... You have an idea when you watch the show of the, the writing and the the energy of the show and what it's like, that is like times 20 when you're on set because it, it's an amazing show and everyone cares so much about telling these stories the real way. When we worked on Afghanistan, everything was so real. You know, from our translator that we had on set to our dialogue coaches. Um, I speak Pashto, but we still had translators on set to make sure everything was very authentic. That to me as an actor is very important the importance of telling the story the right way. And I love that the show cares so much about doing that. So 2020, obviously just a few days away. Uh, can we see anywhere else in the new year? Yes, so I will be on Dirty John season two uh, with Christian Slater, so Ooh. stay tuned for that. It's gonna be a really great one. I don't know if you guys have seen season one. If yes. you haven't, it's on Netflix, so check it out. 
So we, you're all over Netflix. <laughs> I, I love Netflix. I know, it is awesome. Thank you so much for being here and spending uh, some time uh, during this holiday season to stop by. Best of luck to you, Thank and uh, you. hopefully we'll see you next time you come to the Valley and visit your family. Uh, we're going to take a quick break. More Good Morning Arizona up right after this.